Look at First John in chapter 4. First John chapter 4, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you, that is the presence of the Holy Spirit inside of a believer in our Lord Jesus Christ. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, meaning the devil. Now obviously God is greater than the devil. We see that fully displayed in the person of Jesus Christ when he died upon the cross of Calvary. We see that the devil was defeated. Praise the Lord for the, the defeat of the devil at the place called Calvary. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ slew him that had the power of death, that is the devil, and delivered them from the fear of death. And all their lifetimes subject to bondage. So you and I are in the bondage, under the bondage of the devil, without the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to come out from underneath that bondage. We need to be set free. And the only way is through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God who loved us enough to die upon the cross of Calvary for you and for me. Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures and he was buried and he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. He wants to save your soul this morning. Will you come to Christ to be saved? There's only one way of salvation. That is through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who suffered for our sins. Our sins were placed upon Him. And He underwent the divine wrath of Almighty God for all of our sins. And that's an amazingly heavy load. When we think about it, it's just been finished preaching a while ago. It's, you know, when you think about all the sins that have been committed and will be committed by all of us, by the whole wide world, what a load of sin that is. And the Lord Jesus Christ took upon himself the load of our sin. And he suffered in our place. And if you believe on him, if you put your faith in him, your soul will be saved. You'll receive forgiveness for those sins. You see, without forgiveness for those sins, we're going down to hell. And that's not what God wants. God wants you to be with Him for all eternity in heaven. But we cannot be there apart from faith in the Son of God, the one who loved us and gave Himself for us, the Son of God. What a wonderful love we see displayed. There is no love like this, no greater love could be displayed apart from the Lord Jesus Christ dying on account of not his own sins, he does not have any sin. He's the perfect Son of God. He's God in the flesh, Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. But he was made sin for us so we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Which means that if you come to Christ, if you put your faith in him, your soul will be saved. That's what God wants. He wants to save your soul. He doesn't want you to go down the hill. But that's where we're going by default. That's a sad reality, my friend. We are heading for the judgment of Almighty God. Why? Because of our sins that have not been forgiven, if that's your case. No, it's not, but that's why I'm here. To bring you the message of hope and salvation and the love of God through the Lord Jesus Christ Himself. The one who died on the cross shed his precious blood, in whom we have redemption, through his blood even, the forgiveness of sins. And as it says here, he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. It's all according to divine counsel and foreknowledge of God. God had planned this before Adam and Eve were even created. 
Look, he knew that Adam and Eve were going to sin in the garden, obviously, because he's God. But if you and I were there, we would have done the exact same thing. You know, we cannot, cannot say it's ours or Adam and Eve's fault. You and I would have done the exact same thing. Because the heart of man is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Next verse says, I, the Lord, try the heart. So the Lord knows our heart. You know, we might be able to judge someone for what they've done outwardly, but God judges our motives. And so we need to understand that. That nothing is hidden from God. He's the all-knowing God. He's omniscient. That means he knows all things. He's omnipresent, that means he's present everywhere at the same time. And he's omnipotent, that means he's all-powerful. Yes, the devil is powerful, that is true. But the Lord God Almighty is much more powerful. And we see the devil defeated when the Lord Jesus Christ was crucified upon the cross. Praise the Lord for the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we can enter into that victory if we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. If we believe on Him who raised Christ from the dead. We put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He came unto His own and His own received Him not. But as many as received Him, that is Jesus Christ, to them, gave Him power to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name. See, faith, as I keep on saying, faith is the key that unlocks the door to your salvation. So you've got to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You've got to believe upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That could be you today, right now, this morning. You can have a you can have forgiveness for your sins. Would you like to go down to hell? You know, the question remains. It's either heaven or hell. You know, people think we as gospel preachers are out of our mind. And we're not. We're just concerned about your soul. We know that the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for sure. Because the word of God says. Let God be true, but every man a liar. And so we need to take heed of what God says. Sit up and take notice of what God says in his word, the Bible. He says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And because of that, we're heading down to hell, and God does not want that for you. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to be in heaven with himself for all of eternity. But you cannot be there apart from putting your faith in Jesus Christ. It's all in a person. It's not in a man-made religion, my friend. Man-made religion will take you down to hell. And I don't care how many, lots of your descendants, how many generations have followed a man-made religion. It will lead you down to hell. You've got to believe on Christ to be in heaven. If you don't receive Christ, you're damned to hell. And that's what we are by default. We're heading down to hell, and God does not want that. And so he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to die upon the cross for you and for me. It says here, We are of God, he that knoweth uh, God heareth us. Uh, he that is not of God heareth us not. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. See that? God is love. And many people speak concerning the love of God, but they're not prepared to speak concerning the wrath of God. Yes, God is love, and he wants to save your soul. In love, he sent his Son for you to die on the cross, to pay for your sins in his own precious blood. But, if you reject his love, there's nothing left for you, my friend, but the wrath of God. And if you have to face the wrath of God, look out. There's no one that can stand the wrath of God. People will be burning for all eternity in the lake of fine brimstone because they have rejected 
the love of God and they're taking part in the fury and wrath of Almighty God for all of eternity for their sins that have not been forgiven. Now your sins can be forgiven this morning and that's why I'm here. Why go on in your sin? In your rebellion against the God of heaven, who do you think is going to win if you're fighting against God? God will always win. He's God. It says here, in this was the man and manifested the love of God toward us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. That's what he wants to do for you. He wants you to live through him. In other words, he wants you to have everlasting life. He wants you to take possession of spiritual and eternal life, that which you may not have now. Well, you won't have now if you're not saved. You need to be saved. You need to be born again. Here in his love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Will be the sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. That is, love one another as in the Christians among themselves. No man has seen God at any time if we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. Hereby know we that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. In other words, he's given us the Holy Spirit. So I keep on saying, when you get saved, you receive the Holy Spirit inside of your body so that you can actually obey God. You can actually do that which is right in the sight of the Lord which you couldn't do before you were saved. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. God saw us in all our sin, in all our need, realising and we, He knew that we couldn't save ourselves. But that's the realisation we've got to come to. Look, we can't save ourselves. We've got to come to Christ to be saved. You've got to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to be in heaven. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear. Because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him. But if we love the Lord, because he first loved us. And that's us as believers. We only love him because he loved us first. Before, we were haters of God in our unsaved state. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God, whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God, love his brother also. Are you in this family of God? Are you a child of God? The only way you can be a child of God is by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And then, and then only, will you be able to call God your Father. You can't call God your Father now if you're not saved, if you're not a child of God. For you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Do you get that? So you've got to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to become a child of God, to be in God's family, to be able to enter into heaven. We cannot be in heaven apart from faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We've got to put our faith in Him. We will know His life eternal. This is not in repentance to Lord God, but it is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and God promises you everlasting life. Remember, in whom we have redemption, through his blood, even, the forgiveness of sin. You remember that see that heaven or hell at the moment of death, what will it be for you? 
Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried. But praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He wants to save your soul this morning. Come to Christ while there's still time and opportunity. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.